All right, today I'm going to tilt the uh, horse so I can work on the uh, front part of the uh, horse's mouth and uh, under his chin. But first I'm just doing a little smoothing in areas I need to smooth. I got to fill in around the muscles here and smooth them out as well. So that's what I'll be doing first off this morning, and uh, I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. doing is just trying to finalize this uh, side of the face of the horse. Just checking what I got on the other side so I can match it. I got to turn off this light. I got too much light on that clay for me to see detail I've got to uh, adjust the uh, light so that I can see the detail well as you can see I've got the uh, horse tilted up uh, takes a little figuring out and a little engineering uh, to get it to do that without worrying about it falling down or backwards and uh, I think I got it pretty well. So now I'm going to work on the front of the horse, uh, horse's face, and underneath uh, areas that I just couldn't see before, which I can see now. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to have time to work on much more on it today because I've been doing laundry today. It has to be done occasionally. But anyway, I just came back downstairs. I spent about an hour going through some of the reference materials I have for the uh, muzzle of the uh, horse so I could get uh, the uh, anatomy correct on that. And uh, I'll pick that up tomorrow. I gotta work on the nose and nostrils and all that other stuff. But I thought I'd just go ahead and Add that part right there. Face is complicated. There's a lot of stuff you got to know. But we'll get it started tomorrow. And uh, hopefully finish this face tomorrow. Okay, it's one day later. Tuesday. And uh, I'm trying to create the nostrils on the uh, horse's nose. Now the horse is not running, so it's not going to have uh, the nostrils all flared out.
All right, I've had to cut the uh, nose off the horse. Okay, I've stuck a fondue stick up into its uh, head to take care of the uh, nose, keeping the nose on. There you go. I'm just going to double check my measurements if I can find my caliper. Okay, my measurement is right on the button now. It uh, was off. Even when you're careful and you've done everything you can to make all the measurements perfect, you can still screw it up. <laughs> but then you just got to be willing to... Uh, try to fix it boy you talk about stress that's stressful but it had to be done artist always has to evaluate his own work or her own work. There's no easy way to do it. You just have to be willing to make the changes that need to be made. The old clay is uh, stiff and hard to work with right now. Plastiline does not dry, but it does get stiff because of uh, the oils evaporating out of the clay. And this clay is probably three years old or more since I did the horse. The horse was uh, done a long time ago, and uh, it's just uh, gotten, it, it gets a hard surface on the clay. to try to smooth out the uh, front of the horse a little bit. It's a little rough. And I'm using a uh, Ronson all again to do that with and a uh, Brillo that I've cut down in size so that I can handle it better. This just gets the heavy duty scrapes and adjustments that I've made on the clay and smooth them out a little bit. I'll get the uh, other part later, but I uh, figure as long as I've got this horse in this position, I'd work on this part. Well, it started out stressful today, but 
This worked out. One of the uh, benefits of uh, putting this uh, Ronsonol on the uh, clay is I can, it makes plain to me the little imperfections that need to be corrected. And uh, I will do that next time. So that's going to be it for today, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Now, I'm not going to be working all this week because it is the 4th of July week end, and uh, it will all depend on what happens as far as my plans go. All right. Good night, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Give me a like and a subscribe, and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. The link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.